Now, let us discuss a pond as a habitat. What is meant by a pond? Pond is a place where there is enough amount of water and these habitats are known as aquatic aquatic habitats. What are aquatic habitats? Aquatic habitats are the places where there is water and what are different types of aquatic habitats? The different types of aquatic habitats are water tanks, ponds, lakes, water pools, rivers, seas and oceans. These are the different types of aquatic habitats. These aquatic habitats differ in the place where they are enlarged. So, for example, water tank is the smallest place when compared with pond. When ponds are smaller when compared with lakes, lakes are smaller when compared with rivers, rivers are smaller when compared with seas and oceans. So, when the area is smaller, the organisms living in those areas are also less. When the area of the habitat increases, the organisms which are living in these habitats also increases. So, the number of organisms present in a habitat depends upon the area of a particular habitat and all the necessary conditions which are prevailing in that particular habitat. Now, if you see pond as a habitat, pond, the habitat of the pond is divided into different areas depending upon the availability of necessary conditions for the survival. If you see here, the pond, the habitat of the pond is divided in such a way like the surface of the pond on the surface and the area above the pond surface, then the mid water area, the area at exactly at the center of the pond and the margins of the pond and finally, the bottom of the pond. These are the different areas inside the pond and each and every area, the conditions which are present in each and every area are different from one another and as the conditions are completely different, the number of organisms and the type of organisms living in these areas are also completely different. Now, let us see what are the different conditions available in each and every area of the pond and what are the different organisms which live in each and every area of the pond. Now, if you see the surface of the pond, the surface of the pond surface of the pond surface of the pond consists of different conditions like air light and temperature these are the these are the three major factors which are available at the surface of the pond so air is plenty light is plenty for plants to photosynthesize and temperature is sufficient or is required the required temperature for all the organisms to survive. So now, what are the different types of organisms living on the surface of the pond? Let us see the, the dragonfly. The dragonfly is a fly which lives on the surface of the pond which feeds on still smaller insects and also phytoplankton. What is phytoplankton? Phytoplankton uh, are the smaller plants which are living on the surface of the water. Now, the mayfly is also a fly which lives on the surface of the water. So, next. This is a whirling beetle which lives on the surface of the water and which with its whirling mode it feeds on different types of organisms or phytoplankton and this is a kingfisher which always lives on the surface of the water for feeding on the small fishes which come to the surface of the water 
for feeding the smaller insects present on the surface. Next, this is a pond skater which also lives on the surface of water and this is a snail which lives on the surface of water. So, these are the animals which the we have seen the different types of animals on the surface of water. Now, let us see the different plants which are living on the surface of water. So, this is a plant called Pistia which only lives on the surface of water and we can see the roots of these plants floating at the surface of water. Whereas, this is a lotus plant where the flower of lotus is only present at the surface whereas, the roots are deeply penetrated into the soil. So, these are the plants which are living on the surface of water. All the plants which are living here can grow adequately because the plenty of air is available for their respiration and light is available for their photosynthesis and the temperature is required adequately for their photosynthesis and all metabolic activities. But if you compare with protection of the surface of pond, the surface of pond, the organisms which are living on the surface of pond have less protection as most of the organisms which are living deep inside the water come to the surface of the pond for their food material. Now, let us see the next stage of the pond called mid water. Mid water. Mid water is an area which is exactly at the center of the pond. So, the conditions which are available at the surface of the pond are not completely available at mid water. The penetration of air, the penetration of light and also the temperature varies when compared with surface and also the mid water. Here, so the organisms which are living on the mid water are great water boatmen and the mosquito larvae and the leech which also lives in the mid water and some of the crabs live here in the mid water and some fishes also live inside the mid water. Next, the next condition, the next stage of water are pond margins, pond margins as we have seen even on the margins of the pond, we also see different types of organisms living there. For example, the frogs live on the margins of the pond. As we know, frogs are known as amphibians, whereas they live inside the water and also on the land. The frogs choose water only for their reproduction. They, the frogs, the male and female frogs lay their gametes in the water and the gametes fuse to form zygote inside the water. So, this type of fertilization is known as external fertilization, external fertilization. So, the pond margins are very suitable for the frogs to reproduce and the cranes also live on the margins of the pond because they feed on the fishes which come to the margins of the pond for their food material and for their survival. And the crabs also live on the margins of the pond. We also see some types of crabs inside the water and also on the margins of the pond. Whereas, these are the eggs of fish as we have already discussed. The fishes and frogs, they are search for a suitable place to lay their eggs and that suitable place are the margins of the ponds where the flow of water is high. Next, finally, the last stage of the pond is bottom of the pond, bottom of the pond. So, in the bottom of the pond, all the necessary conditions for life are not available much. 
for example, air is not available, light and temperature are very less available at the last stage of the pond, very less available at the last stage of the pond. So, as air, light and temperature are not available at this particular area, there are only decomposers present in this particular area. So, what are decomposers? Decomposers are the organisms which feed on dead and decaying, decaying organisms. So, what are the different types of organisms which we find in the bottom of the pond? Like for example, the plants which live inside the bottom of the plant is known as hydrilla and the organisms like mussels, flatworms, maggots, the larva of maggots, these are the different types of organisms which live inside the water at the bottom of the pond. As most of the organisms living inside the bottom of the pond have flat surfaces, flat surfaces. If you see here, the flat worms, the surface, the body is the surface of these platforms is completely flat in order to withstand high pressures inside the bottom of the pond. So, as air, light and temperature are not available at this area, as we go deep into the pond or deep into the aquatic habitats, the pressure gradually increases. So, in order to withstand the high pressures, the organisms which are living deep inside the pond, most of the organisms have flat surfaces and tough surfaces like muscles. So, these are the organisms which are living deep inside the pond. Now, we have seen different types of organisms living inside the pond with their different habitats. So, habitats for even as pond is a single habitat, even in that single habitat, the regions of the pond in every region of the pond like surface, mid water, whereas margins and the bottom of the pond, the organisms living in this area are completely separate based on the necessary conditions available for their survival.